This is Blockbench, a low poly model editor, and this is a Minecraft item wizard. The item wizard is a plugin for Blockbench, and it's an easy way for new creators to add custom items to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Together with the entity wizard and the block wizard that we have released over the last two years, it covers the three most important corners of Minecraft add-on creation. The item wizard comes with a list of presets and you can even customize functionality of the item. You can create cool items like custom weapons and tools, new food, as well as new armor and even clothing and shoes. Blockbench's powerful 3D editor allows you to create a custom model for your item and you can use a built-in 2D editor to design the icon. If you don't already have Blockbench installed, you can download it from blockbench.net. A Windows computer is recommended for the best user experience. To get started, click File, Plugins and under Available, search for the Minecraft Item Wizard. Select the plugin and press Install. Now you can find the Item Wizard here on the Start screen. Press Create an Item to get started. On the first page you can select from a number of presets. In this example we'll create a weapon type item, so we'll select the Sword preset. Press Next to get to the next page. Here you can enter the name of the item. Let's call it Wooden Club. This will also autofill the ID field with your name as the namespace as well as the item name. You can adjust it if you like. You can also change the stack size and the creative inventory categories. Next we get to the functionality page. Here you can enable several features and adjust the options. Melee attack is already enabled from the preset. Let's adjust the attack damage to 2.5 hearts and increase the durability a bit. We can also enable furnace fuel so that later we can use the item as fuel in the furnace. On the design page, we can switch the item to use a 3D model when held in hand by the player. Next, on the export page, we have the option to integrate our item into an existing add-on or create a new add-on in our game files. These two options are only available in the Windows desktop program. We can give our add-on a name, like Item Wizard Items Pack. Below we can enter the name of the pack author and we could even set a custom pack icon here. Now the pack is successfully generated. You can find installation instructions on this page. Let's press next to start modeling. As you can see from the tab overview, the plugin has generated a 2D icon and a 3D model. Let's design the model first. If you're brand new to Blockbench modeling, I would recommend to look up and watch some beginner tutorials on cube modeling first, since we'll get straight into it. Let's remove some of the elements of our ply solder model first. We can add a new cube and scale it up to form the shape of our club model. Make sure all changes you make to the model stay inside the already generated groups. This is very important so our model will move correctly with the player in game. Now I'll adjust the UV mapping of the model to make sure the faces do not overlap and this handle could be a bit larger. To get started with coloring the model, switch to paint mode. Pick a good color, select the paint bucket tool and switch it to element mode. Now color in all the elements in a base color. To get rid of the remains of the placeholder model on the texture, just click Texture and then Clear Unused Texture Space. Now select a slightly brighter shade of the color and start shading the texture. Let's add some highlights on all four sides. We'll also add some darker tones at the top as well as around the handle. And now some spikes on all four sides. Next we can adjust how the player will hold the item in the hand. To do this we are using animations, so let's switch to animate mode. From the top bar select item first person and click center camera. Select the first person hold animation. To make this a bit easier we can set the transform space to global. Now we can use the move tool to move the item into the correct position. Third person is next, so select the third person hold animation and switch to item third person in the top bar. This gives us a little preview of how the player will hold the item in hand. The position looks good, but we can adjust the rotation a bit. Finally, press Ctrl S or go to File, Save Model to save your model. Now all that's left to do is the icon texture. Let's switch back to the icon tab. We'll select the eraser tool and make it extra large to erase the placeholder icon. Now we'll use the brush with our wood color to draw a 2D version of the club. By drawing everything in the base color first, we can see the silhouette of the icon. Next we'll use brighter color to add shading. Finally, we're adding the spikes. When done, press the save button in the textures list. Or you can press Ctrl S. Now let's switch to Minecraft to test it. We are creating a new world to test it in. Let's make it creative mode 
and enable commands and always stay. To use our item, all we need to do is enable the behavior pack that it exported. It's the one right here. This also automatically enables the resource pack. Let's check it out. We can find the item by searching the creative inventory. You can see the icon in the inventory and the model in hand. Let's test it on this creeper. Yep, works like a charm. Welcome to the club, Mr. Creeper. If you want to know more about custom items, or you want to learn how to use the other two wizard plugins, check out the Minecraft Bedrock add-on docs at learn.microsoft.com slash minecraft slash creator. Thanks for watching.